somebody please take the pun machine away from the marquee guy? That is just ridiculous. That is it for Showbiz Tonight. I'm Karen Bryant. Stay tuned for the latest from CNN Headline News. It's time to get your laugh on and laughter dark. As we do every night, we bring you the late night laughs you may have missed. On the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Dukes of Hazard star Burt Reynolds talks about loneliness, love, all the girls he's loved before, and the men that could be in his life. Tonight in our showbiz sit down, actor, comedian Kevin Nealon. Now, Kevin stars in a new Showtime series called Weeds. It is about a pot dealing mom in the suburbs. Mary Louise Parker plays the mom who resorts to selling marijuana to make ends meet after her husband suddenly dies. Kevin plays city councilman Doug Wilson, one of her best customers. We are pleased to welcome Kevin Nealon to showbiz tonight. Thanks for coming. Hello, I'm AJ Hammer. And I'm Karen Bryant. Tonight, complete live coverage of the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Oprah Winfrey today led a cavalry of some of the biggest stars in the world into the heart of the worst natural disaster our country has ever seen. And live from the red carpet outside the Kodak Theater in Hollywood, I'm Karen Bryant, and we are counting down to the Oscars. Oscar planners kicked it into high gear this morning, preparing for entertainment's favorite event. And now, with less than 48 hours to go, Showbiz Tonight has what we like to call your TikTok, giving you a minute by minute, blow by blow look at the race to the finish leading up to the big night. I want to move on to the Michael Jackson case because the last time I heard of so many people having second thoughts, I was like 10 minutes into the Dukes of Hazard movie. <laughs> it's another story. I'm watching you watch this clip. I don't know if you knew I could see you there. You looked a little squirmy. Do you not like watching yourself? No, no, it, it, yeah, it makes me nervous. I was flirting with you during the, the, the commercial, <laughs> tell everybody, and yeah, they said, you hey, watch it, man. You, you said, I'm married and my husband's a martial artist, you know. <laughs> and it scared me so much that I, uh, uh, I, I told you that I have a gun, so I don't yes, care. Yes, yes, and now I'm, I'm in full blush mode. Obviously, John... And do we have to turn this off, though? There's a monitor here, and I can see you, <laughs> and I don't want to see you, because you're so cute, I, I don't want to... Can we turn this off? Well, thank you. Because I'll be watching. Turn Let, that, here's can we the turn thing. that off? <laughs> Here's the thing, you're back on the, on the dating okay, scene, and yeah. I have a feeling you're going to be extremely successful because, really? um, you know, you're working it right now. Are, are, <laughs> how, how do you feel about this show kind of mirroring where you are in your life? Peta is going after star Jones Reynolds. Yes. Today, Flotilla de Bars, the drag queen, got out oh, as the, I said the best name, as the audience is leaving the view. Hops out, has the new, you know, fur is a drag campaign, the, the white fur coat with the blood splattered it. on it. Do it. Not squeaky clean. Love at it. all. You're loving this. Love right? it. Joining us live for another showbiz sit down, Joe Pantoliano. His resume is incredible. Risky Business, Bad Boys, Memento, The Matrix. Of course, he was Ralphie on The Sopranos. He now stars in Second Best. It's an independent film about an aspiring writer coming to terms with his life kind of as a loser. Thanks for joining us, Joey Pants. Thank you very much, David Haffenreffer. And as David just mentioned, big buzz today about Pat Robertson's stunning comments. So let's hear from someone who has known him for 20 years. Joining us live from Colorado Springs, Colorado is Pastor Ted Haggard. He is the president of the National Association of Evangelicals. And welcome to you, Ted. Uh, Thank first, you. First and foremost, isn't this completely in opposition to the Sixth Commandment, which says, thou shalt not kill? How, how do you react to this? I, I can't even believe he would say something like this. That is so typical. I watch more football in my house than my husband does. Yay. That is so obnoxious Yay. that you assume that is so the guy is the team. New England Patriots, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what channel oh, they're on, they're going to kick butt. Rider. So. Hey, I am from Boston. Don't you get <laughs> off of the bandwagon. That's true, that's true, that's true. I'll go back to Grogan and the guy in three-point stance. Wow, I know. Wow, Steve Grogan. Wow. All right, we must wrap this up. Right. Tonight in a showbiz sit down, Howie Mandel. Years ago, he cracked us up on Make Me Laugh, and then he proved he had acting chops as Dr. Wayne Fiscus on the Emmy award-winning drama hit St. Elsewhere. And now he's taking his goofball comedy to a new Bravo show. Is it okay to call it goofball? It's yes. kind of fun. Uh, taking it to uh, Bravo television in a new show called Hidden Howie, The Private Life of a Public Nuisance. Joining us live now, The Public Nuisance, Howie Mandel, thank you for coming tonight. Oh, it's my it's my pleasure. It's great, great to be here. Great. Now, I'm a goofball. You are. I, it's premiering tonight at 11 o'clock on Bravo. Okay. And it's my real life. Well, you know that? That's what I wanted to talk about. Set us that's up. That's what I wanted to talk. About. Isn't that cool that you're here? <laughs> it's I so love amazing. that. I want to talk about this quickly. The fact that you won't take a wipey. You really do have OCD. I have Is a real true? case of OCD. I really do. And I just, I have an issue with my hands. I can hug. Do you want to hug? I'll, I'll hug, I'll but, I, but I won't. I can't shake hands. Thank Let's you. Just finish the, uh, go ahead, finish the, I'm not letting go. Okay, we're going to wrap it up for right, now. Thank you for coming, up. and good oh. luck with the show. It's my pleasure. Um, yeah, it's called Hidden Howie. <laughs> so 
the private life of a public piece oh, on great. Broadway. Yeah, thanks, Robert. It's on Mondays, but you can yeah. catch it tonight thanks as well. AJ? Yeah. And I know you like to go out and actually I buy the hard copies. buy the records, and then I upload them. I, I like the downloading. See? Well, saves me the time. little country, little rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? I do. It's good to have you back tonight. I know you miss me, Karen, but I know you yeah. really missed how we find out what's happening on Showbiz tonight tomorrow. You're right. You're right. So can we please take a look at the Showbiz Marquee with the Marquee guy? Speaking of the costumes, though, uh, you weren't, but I'm going to now. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> here's a, I'm just going, I'm just going to make that transition the because nice. I need to. Yes. Your costumes, uh, well, I was thinking of it because when you walked out, it was the cat calls and the thing. I knew there was a stream of consciousness in there somewhere. The costumes, save for you, Michael, and I'm going to get to you, are so unforgiving. Was it every ounce that you ate, I think, was visible? Was this, <laughs> what, what was it like even training or staying fit for this film? Hey, look, everybody. It's Karen on the red carpet. Karen Bryant gets all glammy on us to host our Oscar preview special. It's Friday on Showbiz Tonight. What's that sound? That's it for Showbiz Tonight. <laughs> Headline Prime continues next with Nancy Grace. Bobblehead.